Earlier you saw how an assignment statement can be used to assign a value to a variable. In this video, we're going to demonstrate that the assignment statement can use variable names itself to assign a value to another variable. We've got a program here called Rectangle, and we're going to specify 10 as the value of a length variable, 2.5 as the value of a width variable, and then we're going to use a final uh, uh, assignment statement. We're going to multiply the width by the length and store the result in the area. Notice that we can use variables in the right side of an assignment expression. That's what's new in this program. Finally, we've got a, an output symbol here which is going to output our area. And we've done that with concatenation. Let's just take a look at that because it's uh, important. We do have a string followed by the variable, followed by another string. Notice that we have the concatenation operator, the plus sign, in between the string and the variable in each case. Also notice that the first string finishes with a space and the second string starts with a space to properly space out the output in a, in a sentence. Let's give it a try. If we run it, There's the output. The area is 25 square feet, which is what we were hoping for. Here you can see the variables that are in memory in this program. We have three of them, and here are the values. This is a really nice feature of Raptor that explains the concept of a variable very nicely. Okay, I'd like to challenge you. I hope you're following along with your own version of Raptor. I'd like to challenge you to see if you can add two more symbols. One an assignment statement to calculate the perimeter of this rectangle, and then finally another output statement to display that perimeter. If you're following along, and we hope you are, pause this video and give it a try. Come back when you're done. Okay, well hopefully you did something like this. Hopefully you chose another assignment, And what you did in that assignment is you spelled out the value of a perimeter variable. I'm going to call it perimeter. Incidentally, I could call that variable x, but that wouldn't make much sense. Use names that properly describe what you're storing in that variable. If it's perimeter, call it perimeter. Now, we want to have an expression for the perimeter, perimeter of a rectangle formula. As you know, that's 2 times the length plus the width. However, that's not going to work. Watch. Raptor uh, lets me know that that's an invalid expression. I need to explicitly express multiplication here between the two and the parentheses. Now it will be accepted. Let's give it a run. Let's see how this works. Well, wait a minute. I still have one more output to get. Let's try it. Uh, we'll try another output. We have to output the uh, perimeter. And do that right here. We'll start with a string. The perimeter is. Finish that string with a, a space. Plus, now the name of our variable. Another plus because we're going to follow it with another string. And in this case, I guess we just want feet. If, um, by the way, if your uh, um, output wraps on you, just widen out your dialog box, and you'll see it all in one line. Okay, let's give it a try. We got two pieces of output, area is 25 feet, and so is the perimeter 25 feet. That was just accidental, but it turns out to be true. Those are correct values. 10 plus 2.5 would be 12 and a half. 12 and a half times 2 is 25. Okay. This shows you that uh, you can use variables in the assignment statement, and uh, this is a somewhat useful program, worth saving.